Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another action figure review. In this episode, we're taking a look at the How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Uh, this is Hiccup and Toothless. Uh, so this is from Spin Master. It's a pretty cool looking package here. So um, I've always really liked the How to Train Your Dragon series. And I was looking for something specific and went out and this is where we ended up looking through the toy aisle and uh, found these cool How to Train Your Dragon Hidden World action figures. And I thought we'd just take a look at this one and uh, see what it's like. Um, the original How to Train Your Dragon 1 and 2 had some fairly interesting toy lines. Um, so when this one came out, I was kind of interested to see what new things they would have in store. Um... To be honest with you, I've been slightly disappointed in the product offerings from this particular line recently. Uh, but I thought we would just start here and uh, kind of see what this one looks like. So uh, we did get the Hiccup and Toothless um, package here. It comes in this uh, pretty cool looking box set here. Uh, we do have an open uh, Toothless here. <laughs> and then we've got Hiccup over here in the corner. Um... It's a, a unique way of packaging these things. I, I'm not really sure why they chose to do it this way, but uh, yeah, there's no, nothing really holding anything in. Um, usually there is like a plastic thing over this stuff. This is completely open. It's just being held on by these bands, uh, which is a little odd to me, but eh, whatever. We're going to go see anyways. Uh, Packaging-wise, the side does have a nice little picture of the two of them flying around and then on the back we have some uh product information and some more of the figures from the line um i really like the dragon designs on all these which is really what drew me to this so uh yeah um not a whole lot of other stuff going on here but uh dragon scale armor uh, <laughs> The other side has the, just the logo there on it. So um, let's go ahead and just open this thing up and take a look at these and see what's what's going on with these particular line. Uh, so we do have a little bit of tape holding the packaging together. So we're just going to start there, uh, taking my X-Acto knife all the way around the edges here. Again, this is kind of a weird way of packaging things. They've basically taped things together everywhere uh and all the way around the sides and that's pretty much it so then we just pull these apart the two cardboard halves and it kind of folds out like that and then inside we've got the <laughs> instructions here so yeah that's interesting um yeah, the, the rest of this packaging is, uh, well, there's a, a problem thing. <laughs> uh, everything else is just regular cardboard. So, it does flatten out pretty well, though. But, uh, yeah, it's interesting anyway. So, uh, we'll toss that to the side. Um, if you have any problems, I guess you can call Spin Master. <laughs> I uh, don't really need that, so I'm going to toss that to the side as well. And then we have the uh, instruction sheet here for how to load the firing mechanism and how to operate it. So, yeah, on a big piece of cardboard. <laughs> Throw that to the side, and let's take a look here at the actual figure. So we do have uh, some bands holding everything in place. So we're just going to start on the back side here and just uh, snip those off. And it's probably just going to fall off on us, but uh, it's all right. And then the figure over here on the side, same thing. A little snip and another little snip and everything's good. Uh, so yeah, Toothless falls out pretty easily. And the, uh, yeah, interesting. <laughs> uh, so then we actually have the figure inside here. And this weird looking plastic 
thing. So he just pops out. Um, some nice looking detail. We'll, we'll zoom in here in just a moment and take a look at this. Uh, but then we also have an accessory here for Hiccup, his uh, fi fire sword, and then the missile for Toothless. So take our X-Acto knife here and just cut along the edges of these things. Boop. Not the easiest in the world to get in here too. But interesting nonetheless. <laughs> so remove the little uh, missile thing and then pull that off and uh, there's our fire sword, our flame sword. Uh, everything else is just uh, packaging material so we can toss that away now. Um, I thought there might have been something under there but there isn't. It's just a, a little raised platform disc thing so... Anyways, that goes to the side, and now we got the figures to see what's going on here. So, let's, uh, I guess, just start with Toothless here. Um, nice plasticky feel to it, some very nice details all the way around. You can see uh, the striation in the wings itself, cool saddle here. Again, some really nice detail work here. Uh, they've done a good job of actually capturing what he looks like. The character's uh, some nice scales all the way around, bendy tail, little wings are kind of flappy. Uh, these things are articulated, so they do move up and down on both sides. Um, they're just got a little hinge joint on them, so yeah, nothing really special about that. Uh, the head does not move. The jaw does move. It's uh, tied to the trigger mechanism, which is back here with his legs, which is interesting, but you can make him talk if you want to. Uh, then the front feet are posable, so you can move those around a little bit. Beyond that, there's really not a whole lot going on with uh, with Toothless here. Um, to load the missile, you just kind of uh, pull back on his legs a little bit, on his hind legs, to get his jaw to open. And then, I don't know if we can see in there easily, if I can get the light, but there's a little uh, hole back there where you can kind of see a spring mechanism. We just take uh, this missile and uh, line it up with that hole press it in and I guess we just pull back and it fires so uh, the spring mechanism is a little weak but that does kind of make sense for a well that one actually fired pretty well uh, for kids you don't want them doing too much crazy stuff so let's try that again it actually works pretty well not as weak as I first thought but uh, Got some distance to it anyway, so that's nice. It's <laughs> a cool little feature. Um, again, nice detail work. Got a saddle up front that is molded into a separate piece and then I guess glued on there. It's kind of weird, but uh, they've actually got some paint apps on it. The eyes look really good. Yeah, and all the scale work looks really nice, so it's a, a really good looking figure anyways. So there is Toothless. Uh, the reason I really picked it up was the actual figure here, and this is, again, Hiccup from the new movie. Some nice detail work here. Not a lot of paint app going on here. Um, it's kind of a basic figure. Let's uh, see if I can pull this up here so we can see a little bit. 
some decent detail work. Uh, the helmet is non-removable, but uh, the articulation is pretty good. You've got uh, 360 degrees around. Some up and down motion, so you can get a side head tilt going on. So very nice there. Um, standard swivel joints at the elbows only. Nothing else kind of does anything there. And then the legs also have a weird swivel joint. And that's pretty much it. Um, very basic articulation. The legs don't bend. The elbows don't bend. You really can't do a whole lot with this thing. Um, but really nice looking details here. He's got his little crazy glider thing on his back. Got a little bit of paint there on his shoulder. Uh, a little bit of paint right there. And that's it. Everything Well, paint on his uh, little foot thing there too. So his foot peg. Beyond that, really nothing going on here. So... A little bit surprised about this, uh, but all in all, it's not a bad looking figure. Uh, the accessory we get is the flame sword. It is made out of a very soft plastic. It does have paint on the fire sword. Uh, very little detail in the hilt. Really not a whole lot going on on this thing. Um, but it fits in his hand pretty easily. And there you go, you've got uh, Hiccup in his battle armor. <laughs> so, all in all, it looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see how he fits on the actual dragon. Um, just kind of fits, sits on there like that. So, yeah, I mean, his legs can move enough so you can uh, set him on here more like this, I guess. That makes a little bit more sense. But still falls off very easily. Not a whole lot to keep him in place anywhere. <laughs> That's kind of funny, uh, but I mean it works for what it is. You can kind of you can get a rubber band and uh, band his legs together there to get him to go and tie in around the neck, and he won't fall off as much. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a, a limited figure here. Um, again, this is one of the reasons that I was a little bit disappointed. I was hoping for more articulation in the figures. Uh, some more options with the, the dragons and a little bit more paint apps, I guess. But for 15 bucks, I guess you kind of expect to not get a whole lot out of this set. So it is an interesting piece and uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> I guess interesting is probably the best thing I can say about it. Uh, I mean, they, they have captured the characters pretty well. It does look like Hiccup from the the latest movie, the third film, and Toothless is a, it's a really good capture of the character as well. Um, it's just again limited for articulation, limited for posability, uh, but all in all, it's really not too bad. To be honest with you, I really picked it up for the figure because I needed uh, something to try to base a costume off of and I thought this might give me enough to work with um, and in that regards I mean the detail work is pretty good when you look at it up close so you can, can see how the helmet is how it's got the little spikes here there and about plus the uh, the dragon scales everywhere um, the chest piece is an interesting thing some nice shoulder pads to look at the gauntlets don't have a whole lot going on then the legs so i don't know if it's going to work for what i'm wanting it to or not but uh again for 15 bucks it's not bad at all you do get a cool firing mechanism a sword to go with it 
Uh, so, I don't know. It, it may look pretty good on the shelf, but beyond that, it's really not got a whole lot going on in, for me anyways. But it was an interesting find and uh, at least worth looking at anyway. So, uh, that's what we got for this particular figure set. So, I don't know. Uh, drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think about this particular figure set. Um, they do have a whole bunch of different versions out. Uh, they actually do have one with the uh the white dragon i don't remember the name of it so <laughs> uh but they have uh, a different paint job on the uh the toothlet the hiccup figure he's got some weird blue circly things going on for like runes or something i'm not really sure what that's about but uh yeah it's it is what it is i guess so um i don't know That's pretty much all the time we have for today, so thanks for watching. Drop some comments down below, let us know what you think. If you'd like to see something in future episodes reviewed, let me know and I'll do my best to get it out in front of y'all. Uh, yeah, so till next time.